Thanks for watching this demo. This demo is about um, authenticating users against ADFS with our SAML single sign-on plugin. Please install the plugin like you do any other by going to add-ons. Then just simply search for resolution SAML and click install. It'll take 30 seconds or so and then you've got the um, SAML plugin installed. Okay, please click on manage and then um, manage the plugin and hit configuration to go to the plugin configuration. So now you're at our create new IDP visit. Click to add new IDP. Select type ADFS and then hit next. And now enter the host name of your um, ADFS host. It'll create the metadata URL as you see below. Select accept all if you have a private certificate and click on import. And there you should get the message metadata import successful. Click on next. Leave this checked. Leave this unchecked since we don't create users in this demo and click uh, save and next. And you're done on the um, plugin part already. Now cut and paste um, the metadata URL for our plugin. Click next. And now you need to jump over to the uh, to your ADFS server. Right, we're on ADFS now. So please go to Trust Relationships, Relying Party Trusts, and then um, select Add Relying Party Trust. This gets you to the um, wizard, click start. And now it presents you the option to import metadata. So in the federation metadata address, hostname or URL, just cut, uh, paste the URL um, you did cut from our plugin. Go to next and now it just wants a display name. That's just a name how it um, shows it um, with an ADFS. We'll leave that. Okay, and now it asks us about second factor authentication. Um, please select the option here. I do not want to configure multi factor authentication. That does actually work, um, but we didn't enable it in a demo here. Right, go to next. Um, now you have a choice about authorization rules. Um, please, for this demo, select um, permit all users to access the relaying party. Here you could restrict um, users, for example, based on um, group membership um, who would be allowed to actually be redirected um, to your Atlassian application. Right, so that gets us to the um, summary. You could click through things here again. You'll see that um, uh, all other things are actually um, pre-configured um, and that's due to us entering the metadata URL. So click on next. And um, you're done with the relaying party trust. Um, now it will open, if you leave that checkbox, please leave it. It will open the uh, claim rules dialog. Okay, so that opened. Select add rule and then leave the um, send LDAP attributes as claims um, as the template. Click on uh, next then. Okay, now we just need to give it a name and then we select the, an attribute store, which is um, uh, usually uh, Microsoft Active Directory. And now we just need to map um, attributes um, to outgoing claims. So that's basically attributes in your Active Directory um, onto um, claims um, that go into the um, SAML response. Here, since in this demo we only show how to authenticate users, um, we will only need one. If you would, for example, um, also want to create users, you would need to map a couple more attributes um, like email address, full name, etc. So for our purposes, just to authenticate, uh, we can select some account name, which is the um, Windows account name in Active Directory. And we take name ID as the outgoing attribute, because that's what our 
plugin expects to find the username in the attribute um, name ID. Click finish. Here you see a summary again uh, for your uh, claim rule. Click OK. And you're essentially done on the ADFS side. So let's go back to our plugin and test the whole thing. Right, welcome back to our plugin. Click start test. This now actually takes you into the dialog for our live authentication tracker. Please copy this URL and this URL actually invokes our plugin um, with a specific um, a tracker UD, uh, URL and the IDP you've just configured. So you need to open a new incognito window and, um, or private browsing tab um, so that you're not authenticated against ADFS yet, for example, and then paste in the URL. I'm gonna, you don't see what I'm doing now. Basically, the private window, um, I will get redirected to ADFS, uh, put in my username, password, click OK, and then I'm back in, um, and then I'm logged into um, Jira. Um, I'm gonna stay on this window, uh, which is actually gonna show me the live results of the authentication tracking. So opening the other window now. So you see the status is still waiting. Okay, hang on. So um, you've actually seen that I now got redirected. So status is still waiting. And since it's not complete, status is in progress. So basically we now just got redirected to ADFS on my other window and I need to enter my username and password, which I'm doing now. And I'm finished and I'm back logged into Jira. So, and you actually see here status success. Um, user is Kermit, that's the user I'm logged in. Status is logged in and you actually further down see more information about the summer response should you need it. So this kind of information is also very important for us if we need to uh, troubleshoot any issues together with you. Um, this is a really, really good source of information. So click on next, please. And only two more things to do. One is to generally enable SSO redirect, which uh, then really means uh, from that point on, users don't see the normal login box anymore. They get redirected to um, ADFS straight away. You don't have to enable that right now. So if you want to do that in a maintenance window or so, anything we've done up until now, um, users didn't really feel or see. So if you want to uh, enable that in a downtime or quiet period, um, whatever, that's fine. Um, then just leave it unchecked and you can go back into the settings later in the plugin and enable um, the redirection. For the um, demo here, we'll actually um, complete it. So um, uh, enable SSO redirect. And um, then also the next thing is to uh, override the logged out URL method uh, to give users a custom page that they are logged out. And um, save and close. That's done. You're complete. It works now. If you now go back to um, your Jira, you'll get redirected um, by ADFS and logged in. Thanks for watching this, guys. Um, and certainly, if you have any problems, if you need any help, um, here on the screen, you actually see how to get in touch with us. And also, really, um, take the opportunity to book a slot to get um, some live help from us. Um, a fair amount of customers have done that before, and they really liked it. And it's an incredibly good way to get you up and running very quickly, especially if you need to use some of the advanced features of the plugin. Um, then using um, our uh, screen share meeting is a great way to get started. Thank you very much.